Good morning, America. Or in this case, Cobra Nation. Simple little vlog here. We're sitting in the Jeep Cherokee, um, getting ready to go pick up the wife's uh, expedition, which has just come out of the shop. New transfer case, new belts, new wipers, inspection, the whole thing. And. Yeah, I'm 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 not happy. I'm I'm not happy. I had to ask. Uh, I had to ask some family members back in England to loan me some money to pay for the repairs. But the Jeep is getting sold to a neighbour. No, to Sherry. Uh, you, you know her as a uh, uh, crazy cat in the uh, community. She's actually my roommate. She's buying this. Uh, she's making payments, 200 bucks a month on it. So by the time this is sold, I'll have the money saved up to pay off the loan I got from my uh, family. Which, uh, yeah. And then I've still got payments to make on the loan, which we initially used to buy this thing. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next video clip. Peace. Alright, I told you guys we'd do video updates. Here's the video update. We are sitting in what my wife likes to call the battle wagon. Its name is Ryo. It is an expedition Ford. Huge bloody thing. I mean, literally, look, 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 look. That's my two pit bulls just sitting there chilling like, hey, we've got enough room to fit a couple of freaking rotties back here. Which, if it was up to my wife, there would be rotties back there too. And there's still another seat back there. Yes, and there's still a third row seat, that, you know, just because, you know. Well, we got this vehicle, what, four years ago? Five years ago? Yeah. Five years ago. From a Salt Lake City SWAT officer. This was an actual SWAT used vehicle. Um, and we got it at, an, uh, at, at well, he bought it at auction, drove it, and pulled boats and stuff. And his kids had grown up and left the home, and they don't want to go boating or anything or whatnot anymore. So he sold his boat and everything else, and still had this thing in his driveway. And he was like, you know what? Let's sell it. So I found it and showed it to the wife and the wife's eyes turned into love hearts if it was an anime cartoon but her eyes literally would have been love hearts she's like ah oh, you don't like you don't die. It, it was full-on freaking dear lord not only is she, she infatuated with this thing but she's in love with it and i don't blame her it is it is a nice vehicle it can take a you know it can take a walloping um yeah i've got to give props to this vehicle actually because this vehicle did actually save us once we were in Wayne County, and it was the middle of a whiteout. And, I mean, we were watching big rigs slide all over the place with their loads and everything else and whatnot. And a couple of Jeeps we got stuck, got high centered and stuff. Because they were like, cool, dude, snowplow, let's get up there, and got stuck. Literally, because their axle just went, woo, and sunk right into the snow and had no bugger, bugger traction. But, wife just went full low and just creeped. You know, and got us all the way home. Yeah, we were doing like 25 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, but when the rest of traffic is pulled over to the side of the road with their hazards on, even the highway patrol, one of the highway patrol officers just looked at us like, the fuck? And we were just like, four by four low gears, V8, fuck you, pretty much. <laughs> and, and, get funny, slow it down. Yeah, he's gonna slow down for this corner, so And, and so long, <laughs> we got home, and, and uh, we went to Wayne County there to have my, uh, no, it was Sherry to have her teeth looked at. No, I had my teeth. Yeah, sorry. I had a tooth, tooth pulled. Yeah, the wife had a tooth pulled. I had a tooth pulled and a cleaning. Yeah, <laughs> teeth, tooth pulled and a cleaning. And, and so, yeah, we we got home and first thing I did was I looked at her and goes, you know, do you want something to eat? And she was like, yeah. And she starts telling me how she wants this big old elaborate meal. And I goes, you did just have a tooth pulled, right? Yeah. So, not a salad or a soup or, you know, something light. And she was like, no, oh, fuck that, get me a burger. You know, with everything. No, what I had was a BLT. Yeah, you ended up, yeah, you ended up getting a BLT. I ended Sherry up, had a hamburger. Yeah, Sherry had a hamburger. And I think, didn't I get chicken Malibu? Um, no, you had a fat boy. No, 
gosh. Well, it was over at... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got a fat, fat boy. Fat boy. And, um... So, yeah, that, that, that was that was fun. And by the time we finished eating and everything else, the highway patrol had literally just come through following some snowplows. You know, literally just following snowplows. We, we, we beat them all, you know? And, and a, friend, a friend of ours was with us, Mike, he, in his 150. And even he was like, you are fudging nuts. And I'm like, we were like, why? And he goes, because my 150 weren't doing good. He goes, well, no, all your weight's in the front of the car. And yet, it's a front-engine rear-drive truck. Even if you did put it in four-wheel drive, your transfer case would be doing all the work. Where our, our, our vehicle is, the weight's evenly distributed for the front and the rear. So all four wheels had the perfect traction. That's why we got through it. You know? So easy. So easy. You, your, rear, your rear end was sliding all around because you had nothing in the bed of your truck. You know? And, and so he shows up and orders something. So we're, eat, we're eating and whatnot. And as we're eating, the, the, the storm, the snowstorm followed us into Ferrin. <laughs> we, he, he just looks at the, the truck and goes, "Fall low all the way home." I'm like, "Yep." So we got four again. We, we just and Mike followed us through, you know. And he was, and we, we got home. And he ended up going home to his house in Orangeville, and uh, yeah, we we got home and everything else. And basically, what it is is that the truck had a new transfer case, new belts, um, and some work done. And what we're doing is we're just stretching our legs. Uh, we're taking her over to Huntington because uh, our local Sinclair gas station just apparently up and closed its doors and no one told anyone. So that's where we normally used to get our, our petrol from. We won't, we, we, we will not get petrol from Maverick if we have to, okay? We only did 15 because we had to. Yeah. She was flashing love fuel. Yeah, and she wouldn't have made it to, to Huntington. Huntington, sorry. She Huntington. Huntington. There's two T's. Huntington. Huntington. There's two T's. That, that's a constant reoccurrence you'll find between me and Baroness. It's us arguing over Huntington. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing it laughing because it's just what we do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're taking the back roads here. Some of these towns, these, these little small towns are creepy. I, I like this one. I mean, creepy. It, it, I like Elmo. I swear it's like the, the town that time forgot. No, the town that time forgot is Emory. Yes, yes, I, I, I would there. agree. Yeah. What's left of a trailer. But yeah, <laughs> I, I would agree. But like I said, guys, it, it, this We're is... We're coming up on Clayton's place. Woohoo! So, yeah, you're going to see Ward's 4x4 and their massive collection of cars. Uh, just a few so yeah, let me just spin this around real quick. Yeah, see, so like I said, guys, th this is the area I live in. It reminds me so much of Lancashire, back in England, where my uncle had his farm. There's their purple truck. Yeah, there's the purple truck, which means that's the start of the property. From here, in that garage, right there, is about 13 Dodge Chargers. I should you not. Yeah, it comes right there. Yep, yep, yep. See, it starts it. Look, look, look at all those cars. And yes, I can go out there at any time. There is a fucking Galaxy 500 right there, a white one. <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah, yeah, see guys, look, it just keeps going. That's what's left of a C10. Uh, oh, 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 there is a Lincoln Mark IV. There you go, Pandemics. So what's left of a Lincoln Mark IV. <laughs> one of your, but yeah, it, it just keeps going. It just to keeps... To this fence line here. Yeah, to this fence line right here. And they've cleaned out a lot of their vehicles. They've, they've had to clear out a lot of their vehicles because it's a whole, you know, you have to recycle, blah, 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 go green or bomb, I think. But yeah, I'm, I plan on going through there, here, in a couple of days, and uh, grabbing some parts for my focus. I told focus. him he couldn't do anything until my truck was on the now, road. There's Clayton. Yep. That, was, that was Clayton. No, that was Juan. Oh, was a Vaughan. Clayton's okay. is red. Okay. Well, I plan, I plan on getting uh, an alternator and some parts for my focus. So, yeah. Wow, just like I said, dude, I, I know a lot of people like that is damn near a good, what, 20 acres? Uh, closer to 30. Yeah, 30 acres of cars. 30 And I keep telling them that they need acres. to clear all that shit out and let me put horses there. And I mean, there's classic muscle cars, there's some newer stuff out there. All kinds of gens of Camaros and Firebirds. Oh, yeah, this was a pretty paint. And I mean, literally, that he at one point I think he had every generation of Camaro, including the twenty, the twenty twelve. Yeah, 
of Camaros, first gen, second gen, third gen, fourth gen, fifth gen, all out there, just, and I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, so what do you want for a first gen? And he's like, oh, 500 bucks. I'm like, for a roller, a roller first gen Camaro, 500 bucks. He's like, yeah. I'm like, let me get the 500 bucks together. <laughs> Cause I don't know, I'd throw a small little 350, 400 combo in that, or a 400, 400 combo in that. And I'm off to the camp town races, you know what I mean? Okay, we're out in Huntington, guys. So I'm gonna end the video here, cause we're Baby girl. gonna get some petrol in the Monster. Probably get something to eat at uh, this new Mexican restaurant we found. It's really good food, really good food. Uh, so until then, guys, I'll see you in the next video clip. Ciao. Hey, guys. Package just arrived for me. Da -da 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 -da. Big thank you to Johnny. I already know what it is, guys. And uh, yeah, I know the, I'm talking to the guys in Discord as well while talking to you guys. So uh, it comes though. Fair tactical. You guys should know me now. Yes, I do. So, insert, insert Brad Pitt. What's in the box? Clip right here. What's in the box? Okay, so, let's open it up because Brad Pitt wants to know what's in the box. Now, this came directly from Amazon Prime. Again, big thank you to Johnny Three Tears for this. Dude, you have no idea the level of love I have right now for you, and I'm not talking about financial. Oh, it's the super clocked edition. Oh, baby. Gaming PC just got a serious, serious, serious upgrade. Okay, guys. Bam, there it is. The EVGA super clocked 1060 6 gigabyte version. VR ready. The whole shabam. DirectX, G Sync, VR works. Everything. Oh my god. Let's see. Yeah, it's got the uh, and it's at the Anzel chipset. Ah, oh, nice GPU boost 3.0, Vulcan API. Oh, 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 yummy. Uh, so don't worry, guys. Let's let that let, let's 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 carefully and I do mean carefully remove the plastic. Got to be careful because this knife is extremely sharp. And I mean extremely sharp. I would put you on, on the stand, it's just the stand's mount is on one of my cameras right now. So I'm gonna flip you around. I'm gonna flip you right there on top of my desk. I know it's gonna be a bit crooked. I'm sorry guys. Again, it's like a vlog style unboxing. It's not a professional, professional unboxing. Ta-da! It's you know what? Let's set up the camera properly. I'm gonna leave this in so you guys can see what you know. I've actually got to buy more of these little things for my tripod, little adapter plates. And I can buy them at Walmart, it's just, well, I'm too bloody lazy right now, first and foremost, to go to Walmart to buy one. There we go, play your autofocus. That's one thing I hate about my bloody camera, is it has this autofocus. Shite. So. I'm going to stop the video here, guys, and continue on the next clip.